This is a demonstration of blood transfusions. Hi, my name is Summer. I'm going to be your nurse. Um, I have a physician order to transfuse two units of blood, uh, packed red blood cells. I'm going to check on the computer and in your chart to make sure that the consent has been completed with you by the ordering physician. And it looks like it's there. Make sure you don't have any questions or anything. I'm going to get my equipment, a bag of saline, blood tubing with a filter. Um, sometimes the hospital or facility requires a second filter. Um, and then we're going to get our flush. Make sure that we have um, a good IV. I'm going to wash my hands, get some gloves on before we do anything. Okay, we've got our curtain closed for privacy. Okay, and what is your name? My name is Sarah Jones. Okay, and your date of birth? 1-1-1990. One, one, okay, I'm checking that with your armband. Okay, I'm checking your IV to make sure it's patent and there's no redness or swelling. It's an 18 gauge. Uh, minimum we can use for blood is a 20 gauge, but we definitely prefer the 18 gauge. And it looks like it, everything's flushing easily. There's no redness or swelling. No leaking, no pain at the site. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and prime this. Open this up and get some fluids in here. Okay, just like you learned in the IV lab. Let's prime it exactly the same way. Um, and I'm gonna get another nurse to come over here to verify all the information with me. Um, also, um, since there's a risk for a reaction anytime you get blood, the physician has ordered um, Tylenol and Benadryl to give you 30 minutes prior to the infusion. So I'm gonna go ahead and give those to you now so that you can take those. All right, 30 minutes has passed. Now we're ready to infuse. <laughs> um, let's see, so we have um, our RN nurse here who is going to help us verify. Um, we're going to get a baseline vitals, okay, so we're going to verify the blood type, red blood cells, we want to verify the type, um, it's A positive, um, let's see, we want to check the expiration date, which would be right here, I say you want to check the bag for any clots or anything that looks strange or funny. Um, when the blood comes down from the blood bank or up, um, you only have 30 minutes to hang it. If you cannot get to it by then, if you don't think you're going to be able to get to it, go ahead and send it back. Um, it, it doesn't take a, but a minute for them to send it back to you, but it's better to send it back than to waste a bag of um, blood. Um, okay, so also we have our RN here to verify. Um, she's standing with me. Sarah, can you spell your name for me? S A R A H. Okay. Middle. J. Okay. Last name. Jones. Can J O N E S. Your date of birth. One one nineteen ninety. Okay. And your ID number six zero one one six six two. And let's see. We want to make sure that this type of X, okay, matches the one on her armband. It's W T H five one one zero. The RN standing next to me is going to check it as well. Does it match? Yes, it matches. Okay, we verified everything, the name and everything. Um, so we're gonna get a set of vitals real quick. Blood pressure, temperature, pulse, respirations, pulse ox, everything looks good. So now we have a baseline set of vitals to work with. We're gonna go ahead and spike this. And hang it. And we're gonna close the fluids and open this to prime. All right, and you will see blood mixing with the saline in here. It'll kind of look like this. So you can have an idea, okay? And if it requires a filter, it'll look like this. A second filter. Okay. 
Okay, so we are going to start infusing slowly in case there's a reaction. So we're going to start with just um, 50, 25 to 50 milliliters um, for the first 15 minutes. We are going to stay with the patient and we're going to check vitals. We're going to ask them, are you having any flushing or trouble breathing? Um, any rashes? itching, any hives, we're gonna look at the patient and make sure that we don't notice any flushing in their face or trouble breathing or scratching or anything like that. She looks like she's tolerating it fine. Wait for 15 minutes. We make sure we stay at her bedside for those 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes have passed. She seems like she's tolerating the infusion well. We're gonna go ahead and take another set of vital signs. Um, and looks like her blood pressure pulse is good, respiration is good, or pulse ox good, no temperature. Okay, great. If you do notice um, a reaction, you want to stop the infusion immediately, take everything down, put it aside, get a bag, a new bag of normal saline, hang that with fresh tubing and everything, and start flushing it out at 40 milliliters an hour, okay, and get another set of vital signs, and notify the ordering physician and the blood bank. Um, if the blood is tolerated um, and there's no reaction, when you get to, there's a second unit ordered. If you notice that your blood level see it, is getting down to right around here, go ahead and call the blood bank to get the second um, unit ordered because it takes them about 30 minutes to get everything ready and send it down. And you don't want there to be much of a gap in between. Now this tubing is only good for two units because it's filtering out particulates and uh, clots and whatever else. So if there's more than two units ordered, you need to change out saline, tubing, all your equipment for the next set of um, blood orders. But it is good for two units and she only has two units ordered, so we're good. So once this is finished, we'll go ahead and hang the second bag. But we need to go through all the same steps we did for the first bag. So once that second bag comes down, we'll get the nurse to come over and we'll check everything. The type of blood cells it is, it's red blood cells, packed red blood cells, um, the type and match for it, the expiration date, the type and expand, her name, spell it out, date of birth, we'll go through all that again um, before we start infusing um, and make sure that she's not having any um, issues. We'll also do the same thing with her as get a baseline vital signs before we switch out the bags. Once we do switch out the bags, we'll sit with her for 15 minutes, um, make sure she's not having any reaction, flushing, trouble breathing, dyspnea, itching, hives, um, anything like that. Again, if you notice she's having a reaction, same thing, stop, pull everything down, because each bag is different. Put up a bag of saline. If she doesn't seem to be having a reaction within the 15 minutes, We'll get another set of vitals and we'll just keep a close eye on her and we'll periodically check in with her every hour. It typically takes about a maximum of four hours to infuse a unit of blood. Um, and um, that's it. Just as a side note, the State Board of Nursing does not allow a nursing student to spike a bag of blood but you may spike the normal saline, but you can monitor the patient receiving blood, but you physically can't spike that. So, you know, just be aware. Thank you.